This video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Your girl is on the struggle bus lately. So this video, week three of the Bloom and Readathon, it's gonna be very low key. We're gonna be taking care of ourselves. We're gonna balance our responsibilities. Right now I'm doing my morning classes from home and then I'm gonna go to my afternoon classes. While I do German activities, let's hear from today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. If you or anyone you know are in the market for new glasses, then look no further than GlassesUSA.com. Cause luckily for you, you won't even have to leave your house. All your eyewear needs are online. All at affordable prices starting at $30. They have over 9,000 different styles you can choose from, starting with in-house brands like Muse or Amelia E, but also designer brands like Ray-Ban or Gucci if you're feeling a little funky fresh. If you're not a glasses wearer but also have compromised vision abilities, all of this great news applies to you as well because you can get up to 25% off of your usual contact lenses from AccuV, Biofinity, Dailies, and more. A great thing that I find about GlassesUSA.com is that you can get your glasses with blue light block coating, so if you're somebody that works in front of a computer, if you're a student like me and you study a lot, blue light glasses help with eye strain, they decrease your headaches, they improve your sleep. I understand that shopping for things online can seem a bit risky, but you can make sure that you get a pair of glasses that fit your face by using their virtual try-on tool. I honestly use this every single time I use their website because maybe you think a pair would look a little funky on you, but then you try it on and you're pleasantly surprised. I am in love with the pair that I'm wearing right now. I've been wearing them all week long, as you will see in this vlog. I am such a sucker for round glasses, but if you're not, have no fear. There's a bunch of square options as well. The gold matches every pair of jewelry that I have. Matches my nose, matches my ears. I took a bit of a risk with the next pair, but you know what? They're fun. Check them out. Ooh. <laughs> These ones are much more bold. So if I'm feeling extra studious, if I'm ready to get serious, if I'm wearing a bold outfit and I need some bold glasses to match my bold outfit, then these are the glasses. These are the glasses for those days. And last but not least, I got sunglasses. Cause your girl reads outside so much. Look at these. And they have my prescription in them. These are so cool. For some reason, sunglasses are extra hard to get right, but these are right. You can't see me. Don't cold Steve Austin. It's like double layering superpowers. I have vision. I have UV protection. You can't lose. With the holidays coming up, if you want to gift yourself or a friend or a family member with a pair of fresh frames, please click the links in the description box below to go to glassesusa.com. Luckily, you have nothing to lose. It's a risk-free shopping experience, 365 day product warranty, free shipping and returns, no questions asked, full refund within 14 days of delivery. Cut out that metal mag. Make your life easier. It's a win-win. Give it a shot if you want. Let's continue on with the video. Let's get some reading done with our vision. And they're back. First of all, I would like to thank the person in the previous video who let me know that memeing about not liking basketball Basketball was in poor taste. While I have heard from other videos and other people that the folklore and the storytelling in this book is very specific and I was looking forward to talking to you about that in the Discord, I had no idea that basketball was important to indigenous communities. Not only am I a human being, but I'm a human being that is borderline working full-time and also in school full-time, so I might miss very crucial aspects of the things that I read and I appreciate their miter to slow down and I also appreciate you guys educating me because I'm gonna be making mistakes. Ruby! Does that mean that I changed my rating for this book? No. Does that change my experience and thinking that the writing was clunky and I couldn't connect with it, no. But my subjective experience with the book is not the be all end all. I don't have to like the book to learn something from it. And I stand by that, but I didn't show that in my last review. So I just wanted to clear the air with that and say thank you to that commenter. Over the weekend, I read A Place for Everything, My Mother, Autism, and Me. I haven't fully fleshed out my feelings for this one yet. I think I'm gonna stop giving autobiographies ratings unless they blow me away like crying in H Mart. This one was very helpful, but also a little disappointing. While the author is reflected in her experiences with her mother, autism is not mentioned until the last 20 or so pages of the book and so to me it felt like the entire book was just vilifying her mom but it was extremely insightful a lot more negative than I anticipated but hey it was honest and for that I really appreciate it I'm glad I read it I have a lot of dog ears on the pages it did spark a really important conversation with my family for that I think this book so this is what my blooming card looks like right now I read six books and then there's the free space so we'll see where that goes as of right now I am still only done with the intro of unwell women I am excited to dissect her I'm just a little intimidated and I just have so much school work your girl's very stressed she's very very stressed she's trying her best and then I haven't opened it yet, but I am going to read I Who Have Never Known Men by Jacqueline Harpin. So let's just get through the next few days. It'll be fine. Let's do some German. <laughs> Actually, I have to make a quick run to the grocery store because they have binders for a euro. So let's go do that. Are you ready for the weakest grocery haul ever? We got two binders, grapes, oatmeal, but not the rolled oats, because they don't have rolled oats. There's a really big difference between the flakes and the big pieces, ma'am, but we have to make do. And one head of cauliflower. That's it. No, it's not. I lied. Because it's a take care of yourself vlog and a take care of yourself week. I got a cheap little candle because it's getting so dark so early and it's making me so sad. Think of the bright side. There we go. Ding. All right, let's get back to work. This is 
Aristotle, making Aristotle and everybody else on Earth look like a bitch. Science is a liar sometimes. And welcome to today's installment of Help, I'm so overwhelmed. Make my coffee very fancy so I can forget the pains of every day. Step one, oat milk. Step two, microwave. A little bit of ginger, a little bit of cinnamon in the milk. Yesterday I did school stuff from eight to five for some reason. The more I try, the dumber I feel. So I took a really hot shower and started reading I Who Have Never Known Men. I was very intimidated because I'm so bogged down with school and I just want a book that isn't a chore in any aspect of the word. I just want a simple read that I can escape. I don't have to do work. There's too much work already. So when I saw that the first chapter or chunk of this book is about a third of the book, I was intimidated. I told myself I'll read five to 10 pages just to get a feel for it, just to say I started and 55 pages later, I'm in love. And if I could, I would have stayed up all night to finish it. We're gonna read some more with our coffee. Update time. We're in the kitchen. I'm on the last chunk of the book. I'm on page 137 out of 188 pages. There are 50 pages left. Where is this going to go? Where is this going to go? I don't know, but. Look. <laughs> Their friend Joe. Yeah, this is hanging out. <laughs> that was it. Me. Anyway, I want to make cauliflower wings. I have two hours before I have to leave for my class, so I think that gives me enough time. I'll finish my book, we'll have a great snack, and then go to our favorite class of the week. I love sociology so much. Also, did I email a professor yesterday about a paper that's due in May because I want to call dibs on a book and instead of reading the one chapter he wants us to read, I want to read all 800 pages, yes. And is that book The Origins of Totalitarianism by Hannah Arndt? Yes. So stay tuned. Let's make some cauliflower wings. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my friends, we have to talk. I finished I Who Have Never Known Men yesterday. This one reminded me a lot of the Pocket Pages Book Club book Pew. So if you liked Pew, I think you will like this one. If you didn't like the ambiguity of Pew, the lack of answers in Pew, the slow pacing mundanity of Pew, I don't think you'll vibe with this one. But I loved Pew and I loved I Who Have Never Known Men. This is a very subtle and timeless work of fucking art. This is a piece of work that's very easy to interpret in any way that you may need at the time. For me, the cage was planet Earth and life itself. And it had this very eerie doom kind of vibe, but it was comforting somehow. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. Kirsty and I are gonna get matching tattoos from this book. Can you guess what it would be? I don't think you will, but I would love to hear your guesses. Lots of questions about what it means to be a human, lots of questions about what it means to have a meaningful life, what it means to exist, what to do with that time and space and resources, just 
Five star new favorite. Five star new favorite. Yes. I think up next I'm gonna read a monster call because the hype around this one is so strong. Also, the schoolwork is heavy and I just want something, not light, but easier, you know? I need something like this. I'm dissecting a nonfiction for school. I have to make a whole ass presentation and paper about it. I just need to escape. So I think this one's gonna count for my cacti space and this one will count for my adaptation space because apparently there's a movie too and so I really wanna watch the movie. One more happy update because this week is turning up, folks. It's looking good, Millhouse. I got a very enthusiastic email back from my professor about wanting to read an entire 800 page book. Also, it was on sale at the local bookstore. Woo! Hannah Arndt, The Origins of Totalitarianism. She's big. The pages are Bible thin. I did absorb some anti-deckled, not speckled, deckled edges propaganda, and I I, have, I feel you, fair feelings. Why are we not mad at papers like this? I've heard all of the quandaries of deckled edges, but why are we not talking about how hard biblical pages are. This is the worst paper for a book. That's where we're at. It's Thursday. I don't have any classes today. I'm gonna clean up the house a little bit and then my gal pals are coming over so we can work on our philosophy course together. So that'll be great. Let me show you my outfit and then let's get our points on the bingo board. So this is what we're working with. I have my Rottweiler t-shirt that I thrifted. This whole outfit is thrifted. How exciting. Underneath, it says Rottweiler on it in case you get it twisted. I got this belt from the thrift store I worked at over the summer and I got this skirt from a thrift store in Ithaca, New York in like 2013. Fashion. Giving myself my point for my cacti space. These are on the Patreon, patreon.com slash They're open to any and all patrons. It's also through the Patreon that we have the Discord and fun calendars, bookmarks. Check it out. All right, gentlemen, I'm just cutting a snail. It's not that serious. Rumi. <laughs> Can't get anything done with these two. Y'all crazy. <laughs> no. All right, so cacti. Boop, 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 boop. I could get a bingo right here, but in order to do that, I have to finish this entire nonfiction on Will Women. I've only read the intro. It's 415 pages. I have two weeks, you know? Maybe. Thoughts and prayers. Hey, who was this guy, Parmenides? Just completely out of the blue, he comes up with a single theory that calls into question all the things that everybody had ever thought they'd known previously. Hello, happy Friday. Yes, I'm home in my grout fit already before 2 p.m. Fuck with me. Con, the cats woke us up super early this morning. Pro, I had enough time to read some of the monster calls before class started. Hey, I'm liking it. I'm 28 pages in. There's quite a bit left. I can totally finish this today though. Not 100% sure when though, because I had class, then I came home and I've been editing all afternoon since and I have like a study lab session thing online in a few minutes. So we've got our second coffee of the day, brewed. Toasty, bubbly, that's about it. That's the, the goals for today include class, which I did, finish my video, which I'm working on, and then this philosophy study group thing, which I'm about to do. Also, finish this book, and also, have fun. <laughs> I wanna fuck around. My weeks are so crazy, and my weekends are always full of work and catching up on schoolwork. I have had one full day off since school started at the end of September. One, I'm happy, I'm doing everything I wanna do. I wanna get my PhD, so I want really good grades. Also, I love doing this, so I'm doing all things I enjoy doing, it just is consuming me, but I am consumed by things I enjoy, so I have no complaints. Just if you want to hang out with me, I'm sorry, that's not... <laughs> I had class and then I edited until bedtime. I did not get around to a monster calls. Sometimes life happens. Tune in next week to see what I think about this book that made so many people cry. <sighs> mm, that feels good. How's your Bloom and Readathon going? Next week is the final full week. It's not too late to participate. The card is on Instagram. All the info's on Instagram. We've got a playlist down below with info and other people's TBRs. It's great. Don't forget to click the link in the description if you're interested in glasses from glassesusa.com. Thank you for sponsoring this video, glassesusa.com. As always, thank you for clicking, thank you for caring, and thank you for being nice. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>